Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve uh, this uh, Ramjan infinite sum. So we have uh, interesting sum. So how to solve? Well, uh, first uh, here uh, we have hyperbolic cotangent of phi in x. Here also we have hyperbolic cotangent of phi in over x. So I'm going to begin with uh, a previous video the previous question uh, we saw in a previous video uh, this is the question sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over uh, n square plus x square and uh, when we solve this uh, infinite sum uh, we have the uh, identity uh, 1 over 2 times i x uh, times minus pi times cotangent of pi i x plus 1 over i x okay then uh, we know uh, cotangent of phi i x cotangent of pi i x is equal to minus i times uh, hyperbolic cotangent of pi x so uh, we can write uh, here 1 over 2 times i x times uh, here now minus minus uh, so plus i times pi hyperbolic cotangent of pi x plus 1 over i x then uh, we can uh, multiply with uh, by uh, 1 over 2 times i x i get cancelled so we have pi over uh, 2 times x hyperbolic cotangent of uh, pi x minus 1 over 2 times x square well then uh, i'm going to isolate the uh, hyperbolic cotangent of pi x so we have hyperbolic cotangent of pi x is equal to uh, now we know we should multiply with 2x over pi so we have 1 over uh, pi x plus 1 over pi uh, then sum n is equal 1 to infinity 2x over n square plus x square okay uh, this is the uh, hyperbolic cotangent of pi x here we have hyperbolic cotangent of phi n x here we have hyperbolic cotangent of pi n over x so similarly uh, we can uh, write hyperbolic cotangent of pi n x is equal to now instead of x uh, we should uh, plug in n x so we have here 1 over uh, pi n x plus 2 over pi uh, sum of uh, now i am going to change the index uh, k is equal 1 to infinity uh, here we have n x n x over k square plus n square x square okay also we have uh, we need to uh, hyperbolic cotangent of pi n over x so uh, hyperbolic cotangent of pi n over x is equal to uh, here x over n times pi plus 2 over pi sum of k is equal 1 to infinity now instead of x n over x over k square plus n square over x square we know uh, our sum n is equal 1 to infinity hyperbolic uh, cotangent of pi n x plus uh, x square hyperbolic cotangent of pi n over x over here n cube okay now uh, we can plug in ah before that uh, we can split this infinite sum into two different sums so we can write here uh, sum of n is equal uh, 1 to infinity hyperbolic uh, cotangent of pi n x over uh, n cube plus uh, here we have x square so x square uh, infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity hyperbolic cotangent of pi n over x over n cube uh, we can write here uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 
here 1 over n cube so 1 over n cube instead of hyperbolic cotangent of phi in x uh, we have this expression so we have 1 over uh, 1 over pi n x plus 2 over pi uh, sum of k is equal 1 to infinity n x over k square plus n square x square then uh, here we have x square so uh, plus x square uh, then instead of hyperbolic cotangent of phi n over x we have this expression also in the denominator we have 1 over n cube so uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n cube uh, times uh, here x over n times pi plus 2 over pi uh, sum of k is equal 1 to infinity n over x over k square plus n square over x square okay then uh, we can uh, simplify here uh, 1 over pi x we can take outside of the sigma notation so 1 over pi x sum of n is equal 1 to infinity now here n cube here n so 1 over n to the fourth power plus uh, now here 2 over pi so 2 over pi here n is equal 1 to infinity so sum of n is equal 1 to infinity here k is equal 1 to infinity so k is equal 1 to infinity now here n cube here n so n get cancelled and still we have 1 over n square uh, times uh, here x over k square plus n square x square and uh, here we have plus now here x here x square so uh, x cube uh, here pi so x cube over uh, pi times n is equal 1 to infinity uh, here n to the fourth power here n so 1 over n to the fourth power then uh, plus here 2 over pi so 2 over pi uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity uh, also k is equal 1 to infinity here we have 1 over uh, n square times 1 over n square here n cube here n so uh, n get cancelled and still we have 1 over n square and here we have x over k square plus n square over x square okay then um, let's simplify uh, these two terms so uh, we know 1 over pi is a common factor and here uh, we have uh, x cube here uh, x cube here 1 over x so x cube plus 1 over x times uh, n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n to the fourth now uh, let's simplify uh, these two terms so uh, we know plus 2 over pi uh, n is equal 1 to infinity k is equal 1 to infinity now uh, 1 over n square so 1 over n square times here uh, x over uh, k square plus n square x square plus here uh, x over uh, k square plus n square over x square okay then uh, still we can uh, simplify here 1 over pi uh, times x cube plus 1 over x and uh, we know this is equal to uh, theta function Riemann uh, theta function theta of 4 and theta of 4 we know uh, 5 to the fourth power over uh, 90 here uh, 2 over pi sum of n is equal 1 to infinity k is equal 1 to infinity here 1 over n square and here also we have x over k square plus n square x square plus here uh, if we take common denominator uh, we know we have x cube over n square plus 
k square x square okay then uh, as a next if uh, here uh, phi get cancelled so we have x cube plus 1 over x times phi to the third power over uh, 90 plus now uh, here we can split uh, this sum into two different sums so here we have 2x over pi because this x i take uh, outside of the sigma notations so 2x over pi n is equal 1 to infinity k is equal 1 to infinity uh, here we have uh, 1 over n square times k square plus n square x square then um, here uh, we have uh, again uh, 2x over pi so plus 2x over pi uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity uh, k is equal 1 to infinity then here we have uh, x uh, we took as a common factor so still we have x square over n square plus k square x square okay then are uh, here uh, 1 over n square so here we have uh, again uh, n square okay then um, here we have x cube plus 1 over x times phi cube over uh, 90 plus uh, i'm going to rewrite this sum 2x over pi n is equal 1 to infinity k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square times k square plus n square x square uh, plus now uh, this sum uh, 2x over pi now i am going to interchange the index uh, because uh, we know n and k are dummy variables so i am going to interchange n and k so k is equal 1 to infinity n is equal 1 to infinity here we have x square over now instead of n we have k square so here uh, k square plus instead of k square we have n square here x square okay then uh, we know um, here x cube plus 1 over x 5 to the third power over 90 plus 2x over pi n is equal 1 to infinity k is equal 1 to infinity now uh, both numerator and denominator i am going to multiply by uh, k square so here we have k square over n square k square k square plus n square x square and uh, second sum uh, 2x over pi sum of k is equal 1 to infinity n is equal 1 to infinity uh, now uh, both numerator and denominator i am going to multiply by n square so here n square x square over n square k square k square plus n square times x square okay then mm, here x cube plus 1 over x times pi cube over uh, here pi cube over 90 plus uh, now 2x over pi then uh, i am going to take uh, sum of this infinite series so uh, we know 1 over n square here also 1 over n square so we can write n is equal 1 to infinity we have 1 over n square then k is equal 1 to infinity uh, here 1 over k square so 1 over k square times now uh, k square uh, plus n square x square so we have k square plus n square x square and here also we have k square plus n square x square okay now we know uh, this part uh, get cancelled so we have uh, x cube plus 1 over x times uh, 5 to the third power over 90 plus 
2x over pi times uh, we know this is equal to theta of 2 and this is also equal to theta of 2 okay then um, x cube plus 1 over x times 5 to the third power over 90 plus 2x over pi we know theta of 2 is equal to 5 square over 6 so we have 5 to the fourth power over 36 now uh, we know this pi get cancelled uh, so we can take 5 to the third power over 90 as a common factor so here we have x cube plus uh, 1 over x plus here we know uh, 2 times uh, 18 18 times 5 is equal to 90 so here 5 times x okay then uh, 1 over x we can take outside of the parenthesis so 5 to the third power over 90 times x here x to the fourth power plus 5 times x square plus 1 okay this is the answer for this brilliant infinite sum if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching